AMD is very, we'll say far behind NVIDIA when it comes to the streaming. Actually, they're far behind with a lot of the GPU stuff. Like, they have dropped the ball entirely when it comes to machine learning. They have dropped the ball entirely when it comes to um, GPU video encoding. Like, they've just let NVIDIA own that space. And I get it. This is true, but you know where they haven't dropped the ball? Hmm. Where? Wayland support. That's true. That's very true. <laughs> like, I, I know people are going to wonder, like, hey, what about that NVIDIA support on, like, you know, Budgie Desktop when you go WL Roots? No, we'll be in the same position as everybody else, which is tell you to buy a AMD or Intel graphics card. Just, uh... I, and I know, like, that's, that's easy for me to say, sure, you sure. know, I, I'm European... I, I have, like, a nice salary. I was going to say, where know, do the European have good purchasing... come from? <laughs> well, it's just, like, we have good purchasing sure, sure. Uh, power for, a, for in a lot of the EU uh, member states, at the very least. Mm -hmm. So, so I, I know, like, a lot of people can't just afford to go out and buy another GPU. Mm -hmm. Like, come on, NVIDIA. Like, get with the program. Like My there understanding are, is better than it used to be, but it's still it, like... It, it is better, but they apparently it's the performance is not great because they are lacking some like GBM APIs that they need to implement, mm -hmm. um, at least on the WL root side. Mm -hmm. I'm not quite sure about the, um, the KUN and, and Butter side, but mm -hmm. at least for WL roots. Well, you have that, that ARC box back there. Yep. Are you, are you actually using that or is that just like a shelf decoration? No, I, don't, I I actually use it. Yeah. Okay. I have an Intel Arc A770, um, and you're probably wondering why would you do that? that AMD exactly is just vastly sup like AMD is vastly superior. Yeah, I know, but uh, I also like I need to scratch the itch that I scratch this itch of of kernel testing and Mesa lib git testing. And all that, because for a while, I was doing uh, kernel maintenance and a lot of the Mesa stuff for Solus. Mm -hmm. So, like, I was running a Linux Next, which was always the release candidate kernels. You know, I was, like, dog-fooding Mesa lib stuff just to try to catch some issues before other people, mm -hmm. before we tried to push it to unstable. Um, and when I, when I left Solus, I was like, oh, man, I, I, I need to have my stuff break. Things aren't exciting enough for me. And Intel came out with his GPUs mm -hmm. and the support for them was not great. <laughs> and it required kernel patches. Yes, it did. And then it required an RC kernel. And then uh, eventually you had to run Mesa Git. Uh, yep. Nowadays, you don't have to do all, any of that. You can run the latest kernel and just normal Mesa lib. So it's a little less exciting. So I might have to find some different hardware to run um, that causes breakages. But that's the that's the main reason uh, why I went with Intel Arc. I'm not like some some Intel shill or any of that. So go to a secondhand shop and buy yourself like a GTX 660 or something. <laughs> Just run Wayland on that. See what happens. Uh, I, I don't I don't need to actually. So my my home server I have a Nvidia GPU oh. and I also have like a. I have. I also have a 1060 just sitting here that I could just. Yeah, but that's in the range of like needed. supported cards. <laughs> I love whenever. <laughs> okay, True. I love every time I talk about Wayland and someone's like, "Hey, my 13-year-old Nvidia GPU doesn't support Wayland properly." Like, yes, but Nvidia doesn't support that GPU properly either. Like, I get no. it. You're gonna keep running X11, but like. Yeah, that's... some of us like buying modern hardware. Well, it's not even we modern. Like, I get having to buy secondhand hardware. Like, that's totally fair. Sure. Like it, but like we, <laughs> we're not. I mean, even the rest Nvidia of the desktop... 10 series. The rest of the is like still really good. Yeah, the rest of Linux desktop is not gonna wait behind for. Basically, e waste. Like, like, I get it. You're running it. Like, it's what you're gonna run. But like, let let's yeah. be honest about what we're doing here. Like, it's e waste at this point. Yeah, we're we're talking about underperforming, power hungry GPUs in a lot of ways. I mean, that that to, that said, it's not like Nvidia 4E series is you know like 
a knight in shining armor when it comes to power efficiency and <laughs> consumption either. Yeah, that's um, you know, like I another reason why I went with Intel Arc over what AMD had at the time mm -hmm. was lower TDP mm -hmm. of the GPUs. And this was around the time uh well of November, December of last year when prices for electricity were excruciatingly high here. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I wanted an upgrade, but I also didn't want to have to pay like two, three X in electricity costs either for it. So uh, I went with, with that instead of 40 series, but mm -hmm. um, AMD offerings at the moment are, are quite comparable at the very least in terms of TDP. But. I luckily don't have that concern because my house has solar. Which is nice. In Australia, oh. we just have sun. Just always sun. Like, we get a power bill, but it's like, oh, you want to pay like $80 for three months? Like, sure, I can do that. Why not? <laughs> Man. I, I would love to have solar. But, but yeah. Um, so, so my line of thinking is I would love to support NVIDIA GPUs. Mm -hmm. I, I think users using NVIDIA are like well within their rights mm -hmm. to, to have that but also like we we can't keep waiting around for nvidia mm -hmm. and i think we we stopped at least in, in terms of mutter and and uh, k when we stopped waiting around for nvidia and we're like yeah um so if you guys don't get your act together our enterprise linux operating systems are gonna be inadequate in terms of like running with nvidia hardware and nvidia is like oh yeah. Oh, well, we better get some stuff sorted then, huh? Because we like our enterprise customers and we definitely don't want them switching over to AMD. So that's what we need more of in this community is a good old Linus middle finger, <laughs> you know, and just just roll with it. AMD, Intel, and when NVIDIA wants to get their act together completely, then welcome aboard. I had not so. thought about that when it came to the the whole rail dropping Xorg thing, but I guess, I guess that's a fair point. Like, maybe that would be what they actually need to have happen. Yep. And it, and if you have default support on Fedora Workstation, mm -hmm. and you know, like KDE is slightly less relevant when it comes to like you know m m most consumers or Linux consumers, especially mm -hmm. in the business space. But like that, uh, or like any sort of stuff around CentOS, then it's gonna it's gonna be GNOME and Mutter. Mm -hmm. So you know, I know Nvidia and the the Mutter and GNOME team have been working hand in hand quite a bit. But uh, but I'd like to see the rest of the ecosystem sort of be carried along with that. <laughs> maybe one day, maybe one day, you know, everything will one be day. equivalent. But until then, I. I would love to have an NVIDIA card. Like, if look, if I had the additional money, I would just get a car, an NVIDIA card, just for the uh, NVENC encoder. Like, for me, that would be valuable enough. But right, I I really hope that AMD sorts out their encoder because it's not terrible, but it's also not good. Plus, also. There's just a lot of additional things that NVIDIA is doing, especially in the gaming space. Like, they've got their whole, um... De no, what the, f the, the, f the... The thing that's not FSR. DLSS. Oh, uh, DLSS. Yeah, that yeah. one. Um, yeah, they have like, DLSS 3 and 3.5 Which, now, so. from what I've seen of that, it's magic. I don't... I do not understand how mm. it works, why it works so well... Yeah. I know the direction they're going is, like, not rendering, like, actual proper frames, but generating things based on AI models. I don't understand how it works, but... It's it's black magic to me as yeah. well. Yeah. <laughs> it's really cool. And... Yeah. Look, if you can go from games being barely playable to actually working really well, like, that's awesome. And considering that especially now with a lot of the UE5 stuff a lot of game and a lot of game devs are like pushing things very graphically like we are getting to that point where 
we're sort of getting back to those like hey will it run crisis sort of thing where like high like mid to high end cards are struggling to run like a lot of games like you actually want to be going like really high tier if you actually want to be pushing a game for a while yeah. like for a while that just was not the case like you could buy like a mid tier card it was going to max out most things um it's i don't know like also then there's a whole like people wanting to reduce their power consumption as well so if you can get a lower tier card that might have a lower tdp and then get higher performance out of it than would otherwise be possible like that's also really cool as well or even getting like a slightly like uh higher end gpu but then underclocking it slightly well, that yeah yeah i mean that that more affects thermals but it can affect tdp as well hmm. Um, well, thermals, yeah, I mean, by extension, because of the rest of your system, also is going to increase power consumption as well. But it, yeah, exactly. 